Hello. Chapter 9, weather. There are three sections. Section 1, water in the air. Section 2, dwell weather. Section 3, forecasting the, wa the weather. Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain time and place. The condition of the atmosphere is affected by amount of water in the air. As you see here, there are different kind of weather. For example, weather is sunny, weather is snowy, weather is rainy, or weather is cloudy. Water cycle. Water cycle is the con continuous movement of water from sources on the Earth's surface. Let us check the water cycle here. Water cycle, part of water cycle, condensation, evaporation, precipitation, runoff. As you see here, the source of water. So, source of water, when temperature increase, the liquid change into gas. We call that process is evaporation. What is evaporation? One liquid change into gas. Then later on, later on, the gas particle in the cloud change into rain, snow, or sleet. We call it precipitation. What is condensation? One water change into uh, one water vapor that in gas change into liquid. We call it condensation. What about runoff? Runoff, one precipitation reach on surface of earth. It is changed into water. As you see here, water move from up to down to reach the lake, sea or stream is called uh, runoff. Condensation again, when water vapor cools and change from gas to liquid. When gas change into liquid is called condensation. Evaporation, when liquid water, that means liquid, uh, water change into water vapor, which is gas. That means one liquid change into gas. Precipitation one rain, snow, sleet, or hail from cloud onto earth surface. That means, as you see, as you know, cloud made by uh, gases. One gas change into liquid or snow or sleet is called precipitation. Again here, when solid change into liquid, we call it melting. For example, ice change into water, we call it melting. When liquid change into solid, we call it freezing. When liquid change into gas, we call evaporation or boiling. When gas change into liquid, we call it condensation. Humidity. The amount of water vapor in the air the air's ability to hold water vapor change as the temperature of the air change. Factors affecting humidity. Amount of water, humidity increase as water vapor increase. Temperature, as the temperature of the air increase, the air ability to hold water vapor increases. Relative humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air compared the, with the maximum amount of water vapor that the air can hold at a certain temperature. As you see here, saturated, saturated air, when air holds all of the water that, can, that it can at the given temperature, called relative humidity. You can calculate relative, uh, relative humidity by using Following formula, actual water vapor content equal, uh, over saturated water vapor times 100, it is going to be relative humidity. We have a question here. Assume that at 25 Celsius, the actual water vapor content equal 12 gram over meter cube. At this temperature, the air can hold 25 gram over meter cube of water vapor calculate the humidity, the relative humidity. Remember formula, what is the formula? Actual water vapor equal 
saturated water vapor content. So let us check the, our formula here. All right, let us solve, solve our question. What is it? What is actual water content? Is 12, 12 gram over meter cube. 12 over 24, what is total here? 24, that means times 100. So it is equal, let us continue here. 12 times 100, it is 1200 over 24. When, when we divided each other here, this one, it is going to be 50. 50 percent. It is not 90, 50 percent. Correct. So the humidity is relative humidity is fifty percent. Factors affecting relative humidity: amount of water vapor. Example: the more water vapor that is in the air, the higher the relative humidity. Temperature. Example: the relative humidity decreases as the temperature rises and increases as the temperature drops. Measuring relative humidity. How we can measure relative, relative humidity? Of course, there is devices. That device is called psychrometer. Psycro, psycro we can divide it, uh, relative humidity, humidity by uh, psychrometer. Psychrometer is an instrument that used to measure relative humidity made up of wet bulb thermometer and dry bulb thermometer what what how wet bulb thermometer works if the humidity is low the water will evaporate more quickly and temperature reading on the wet bulb thermometer will drop Condensation, uh, remember condensation, when gas change into liquid. The change of state of gas, a gas to a liquid. When gas change into liquid, we call condensation. Remember evaporation, when liquid change into gas. Condensation occurs when saturated air cools. The deep point is temperature at which a gas condenses into liquid before water vapor can condense through it must have surface to condense on if the deep point for example in the morning when you go touch the plant it is wet because of it is what deep point cloud cloud a collection of small water droplets or ice crystals suspended in the air which form when air is cooled and condensation occurs is called cloud cloud mostly made by water droplets that means water vapor but of course there is some crystals uh, water molecule also cloud are classified by form and by latitude there are form of cloud there are three there are three form of cloud what are they firstly cumulus the first one, cumulus. Second one, citratos. Second one, citratos. Third one, cirrus. There are three kinds of clouds. The first one, cumulus. Second one, citratos. The third one, cirrus. Let us start uh, first one, students. Uh, cumulus. Cumulus. Purify white cloud, as you see, white cloud made by white cloud that tend to have flat bottom are called uh, cumulus cloud. When this cloud gets larger, they produce thunderstorms. Thunderstorms come from a kind of cumulus cloud that called a cumul cumulus 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 What is it? 
one uh, cloud going to be larger is called cumulo number second kind of cloud is called stratos cloud called stratos cloud are cloud that form in layers stratos cloud cover large area of the sky and often block of the sun sometimes you cannot see uh, because of the citratos. Nimba citratos, Nimba citratos cloud are dark stratos cloud that usually produce continuous rain. Fog is the stratos cloud that has formed near the ground. Third kind of cloud is called cirrus, cirrus cloud, cloud. Cirrus cloud are thin white cloud formed at the high altitude cirrus cloud form when the wind is strong if they get thicker cirrus cloud indicates that a change in the weather coming precipitation there are there are four major form of precipitation first rain the most common form of precipitation a cloud produces rain when the water drop, drops in the cloud become large enough to fall. When the gas changes into liquid, we call condensation, and it is rain. Sleet and snow. Sleet form when rain falls through a layer of freezing air. The rain freezes in the air, first in the cloud. Uh, gas change into liquid, change into rain. Rain one on the way, they change uh, water droplets, change into ice crystals. It's called split. No, form when temperatures are so cold that water vapor, that means cloud, change directly to solid. Here, balls of ice that fall. From the cloud, hairs form in uh, in the part of cloud. One updraft in in the air cloud carry ra raindrops high in the cloud. The raindrops freeze and heal form. Please write everything in your uh, notebook. 